murder trial of James Irvin Staley III in the 2018 death of Wilder McDaniel continues today in Fort Worth. Our digital reporter Josh Hoggard is in Fort Worth with a recap of the defense attorney's cross-examination of the former lead detective on the case and what we can expect today. Well, good morning, Texoma. We are here at the Tim Curry Criminal Justice Center in downtown Fort Worth, where day three of the capital murder trial of James Irvin Staley III is set to get underway. Today, we'll pick up proceedings where we left off yesterday with the defense attorneys cross-examining the former lead detective on the case. This detective was assigned to the case from the time the 911 call came in about Wilder being unresponsive at the home of Staley on Irving Place in Wichita Falls until May of 2020. Now, when this detective took the stand, he recounted when he arrived at the Staley residence on Irving Place and found Staley, not with Amber and Wilder, but sitting in a closet in the fetal position with his knees pulled up. He later said that Staley was cooperative and agreed to a sign and search, but 20. when he informed Staley that every death is investigated criminally until they can prove that it's not criminal, he said Staley began to sob. Shortly thereafter, the court was shown a portion of an interview the detective conducted with Wilder's mother, Amber McDaniel, and when he mentioned that blood was found in Wilder's crib, you can see Amber on the video expressing shock, covering her mouth, and saying, quote, did James do something? Following that, she buried her head in her hands and began to sob very loudly. Cross-examination picked up right after that, and to say it was aggressive would be an understatement. Defense attorney Mark Daniel appeared confrontational toward the detective, questioning some of the facts in his more than 90-page report, and at times raising his voice to the de detective as if he was yelling. Now, this detective was on the stand yesterday for about four hours, but this morning we're going to pick up with the remainder of the defense's cross-examination. Following that, we expect to hear testimony from a woman who was sworn in by Judge Everett Young yesterday during proceedings. Her name is Amber Campisi. And if that name sounds familiar, she's part of a family that owns a successful chain of restaurants in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We expect to hear from her following the end of the defense's cross-examination. Reporting from the Tim Curry Criminal Justice Center in downtown Fort Worth, I'm Josh Hoggard, KFDX3 News.